Hello, Stampers. I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. I'm going to get my iPad set up here. I already turned the volume down. Yay! I have my phone plugged in. I've got to turn some more lights on. How are you guys doing tonight? Hi, Lisa. Hi, Luba. Welcome. I'm so happy to see you on here. Okay, and I think my iPad is going to start here in just a second. Hi, Amy and Linda and Lori. And I don't know why my live isn't coming up. That's really weird. Hang on. Oh, it looks like I don't have any internet. <laughs> Why? 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 We're not going to start off like this tonight. That is just not going to happen. So let's go to my page. It's always something, isn't it, you guys? It's always something. Yeah. I don't know why it's not loading. Okay, so we're going to just give it a minute. It might need a break. Yeah, look, it's blank. I don't know what's going on. Huh. Whatever. <laughs> I'm so happy to see you guys tonight. Yay! I hope you had a wonderful week and a great weekend. Um, oh my gosh, I had such a busy weekend. I know I say that every week, right? <laughs> but it's true. We were crazy getting ready for the retreat next Saturday. How many of you are signed up for the retreat? I'm so excited about it. There are so many things going on behind the scenes to get ready for this. It's it's an incredibly huge event to put on. And I had Connie here from uh, Marquette, Michigan this weekend. And I also had Kathy Miller here. Both, um, well, Kathy's on my team. Connie is a friend. And um, they packed retreat boxes like wild women. <laughs> like, they did an amazing job. It was absolutely crazy to watch it. And I took a little video of their little process. So I will be sure to share it with you guys. They set, they set up everything. Well, okay, so let's back up a little bit. Steve did all the inventory. He inventoried all the products coming in, put them each in piles or boxes, counted them to make sure that I had the right amount there. And um, then Kathy... And Connie came in and got everything set up so that they could do their assembly line thing to pack all the boxes because there's a hundred dollars in product included in each person's retreat swag box. So it's um it's a pretty cool process. Kind of crazy, right? <laughs> yeah, insane. But um it's gonna be really fun and I still can't figure out what is going on with my iPad. It doesn't seem to be attached to the internet. And I don't know how to really fix that, right? Okay, I'm gonna give it one more little shot here on the face, on the Facebook. My mom calls it the Facebook, which is really kind of cute, right? Yeah, it's not loading anything and I don't know why. So, that's fun, hmm. whatever. Oh, let's look at settings. I'm sorry. Oh, I can't look at all that now. I have stamping to do. I have, I have my friends are here tonight. <laughs> you guys. Okay, so I have to show you this. Look at how cute she is. <laughs> so every week at daycare, um, Val's daycare lady, who is Brooke, who's also one of my helpers, she does an art project with the kids, and this was the project last week, and Haley gave it to me so I could put it in my office. But look at her little pony, like her little pebbles pony. Oh my goodness. And of course that tongue, there's a little bit of tongue there. Um, we got to watch her on Wednesday, and she is just the sweetest little thing. I am still just in love with that baby. So yeah, and... She's in love with me, too. Maybe a little too much because she's kind of getting a little attached where she doesn't want to go to anybody else. So, you know, that could be a bad thing, but I think that as a granny, I am doing my spoiling job and I have accomplished it so well. 
<laughs> and I said to Steve, I'm like, I don't know why she likes me so much. I mean, like, I am pretty nice. <laughs> but she's like, anybody goes to like, come on, Val. And she like clings to me like a monkey. It's so funny. And I have to say that it just really does do my heart a little pitter patter because <laughs> she loves me. It's so cool. Anyways, um, right before I came on live, I am dem or, um, designing cards for bingo. Don't forget, you guys, if you are registered for bingo, that is this Wednesday night. And I don't remember what time it starts because I'm terrible about that. I need to see all of my things. I got too many things. But anyways, you guys will get an email with the link to the YouTube live so we can play bingo. And if you missed signing up, signing up for bingo, don't worry, we'll have bingo again in April. So watch for that announcement. It'll be here on Facebook and then also on um, my blog. So let me get this pulled up here so that I can see your comments better because I can't get my iPad to load the internet. <sighs> my cable's been really stupid lately too. Like if I happen to pause it so I can run downstairs and refill my beverage, I will come back up here and then when you play it again, it, it keeps skipping like it's got a bad connection. Oh, God, that's horrible. Um, who is Jasmine says, long time YouTube viewer and never caught me live. I'm so excited you're here, Jasmine. Woohoo! Um, that's awesome. I love it when I hear that. I see that. I just went through um, comments because I draw for door prizes, right? And I just saw we had a lot of interesting people on last week that I wasn't aware of. Lots of um, foreign names of men. Like, what was that all about? I saw you guys say something about some trolls. But there was like a ton of them. <laughs> because I can go back through. I couldn't, I didn't look at their comments, but I can see that they viewed because I go back through and I will click people to, I will invite people to like my page from that. So where did I buy my file cabinet? Well, that's a really good question. It's from Ikea. It's a three drawer, three drawer file cabinet and I really like it. Um, Suzanne wants to know when will we be able to sign up for spring retreat bingo? Uh, Dina Barb and I were talking about the bingo for the spring retreat and Dina was going to post some information on the Facebook page. I don't know if she said today or tomorrow, so it's coming. Facebook is also having issues. Well, that's great. Okay. I hope we are good tonight. I'm going to turn on my little fan because I still haven't gotten a new battery for my phone. So I have a little fan right behind my phone that Mary Lynn gave me to keep my phone cooled off. Um, yes, Chris, if you did not sign up for bingo, do not worry. Um, bingo is available to the public. You only can win if you um, registered and paid, right? But um, it is a live class that I will stream to this Facebook page right here. So you'll be able to, it's a, it's a stamping class with some bingo thrown in is what it is. So I'll be making five cards Wednesday night. And, um, oh, Lee Summit. Who is that? Cindy. I know where Lee Summit is because I lived in Belton, Missouri until I was 11. I know where Lee Summit is. Anyways, back to that. Sorry. Woo, squirrel. Um, bingo is, is, a is a live stamping class. So I'll be here on Wednesday night. Um, it is live on YouTube, however, because we have to, there's too much lag in Facebook between when I call a number and when you type in your comment. Okay. So, um, I have to do a YouTube live, which is, oh, and somebody just said I'm frozen. I don't think so. My comments are still coming in. I'm so sorry. Um, I think that might be your internet and hopefully not mine. <laughs> but anyways, bingo Wednesday night. It's a free stamping class. Make sure you register, um, for it next month because you get a make and take packet for all five cards. And um, there's some goodies in there. There's like, I don't know what I, like, I don't know my details. Isn't that terrible? But it's like $20, $20 where I look over here at my notes, $20 worth of product included with your make and take packet and you get a chance to win fabulous prizes. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, John update. I don't really have a lot to tell you except that Steve was getting really annoyed that John was parking his 
work truck behind his new truck. So his wife is parked here and he's got his new truck parked here. And then his work van truck is here and it blocks Steve's view of the rest of the neighborhood. He thought he might have to have a talk with them, but suddenly John has started parking differently so that his work van is not blocking the view. I'm wondering if he has our house bugged. Maybe he knows that I talk about him every Sunday night. You know, and you know, what goes around comes around. Isn't that what they say? <laughs> Hi, Patty Hall. I hope you're having a wonderful time down there in Georgia. I'm sure it's a lot warmer than it is here. It was a pretty nice day today. Um, it got Steve thinking about he might want a boat. So, that was interesting. I don't know. Where are we going to put all this stuff, dear? <laughs> um, and what else? Oh, I know. I wanted to show you my cool shoes. And there's a story, as always, right? <gasps> Look at how cool my shoes are. What? I love these. They're like, they're like suede leather. I've only worn them a couple times. You can tell. I don't have much going on on the bottom there. But um, I wore these shoes today. And the funny story is, you don't look frozen. Okay, good. Thanks, Linda. The funny story is, these shoes have a little bit of a heel on them, right? A little bit. Not, not a great big giant heel, but I don't wear heels often. I like to wear like um, hiking boot type boots. And anyways, I knew this was going to come out of his mouth. But Steve goes, oh, you look nice because I had lunch today with some friends. And he says, oh, you look nice today. And I was like, oh, thanks. And then he goes, ooh, nice boots. And I'm like, okay, in my mind, here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. And then a little bit under his breath, he's like, hooker boots. <laughs> and I was like, what? <laughs> and he goes, those are hooker boots. And I said, I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> hooker boots. I'm like, every time I wear a little bit of heels, he always calls them hooker boots. And I'm like, hmm, I don't know, are they hooker boots? Is it a little bit trashy to wear some heels? I don't know. It was pretty funny, right? <laughs> Anywho, um, what else is happening? Oh, I wanted to show you guys. Did you guys see my blog hop cards? What? We got some tiny hands in here with some tiny little, some, um, this is Southern Comfort, according to me, and it is a whiskey decanter. Thank you to my YouTube followers who straightened me out on all my terminology because I do not know what I'm talking about. And I explained that. I don't care what all this stuff is called. I just like them. <laughs> like, I don't need to know all that. So we've got our little, this is our whiskey business stamp set. So cool with a little vellum overlay. I had a blog hop on Saturday. And then, so we've got our whiskey decanter. And then these, somebody told me these were called something, but they're actually, they're old fashioned tubs. That's what we call them here in Wisconsin. And then I called this a orange zest but it's actually, oh my Lord, what was it? It's actually, I don't even know. Somebody told me on YouTube and I can't remember, I'm so bad. I'll think of it. You guys will help me, right? It's a orange twist, maybe, I don't know. Anyways, it's cool, right, it's cool. So there's my whiskey. This is my Southern Comfort Old Fashion card. And then I made another one. Let me get my little tiny hand in here. This fits perfectly on the whiskey decanter. Ha ha ha. <laughs> yeah, isn't that cool? And again, this is a vellum overlay. So there's vellum on top of the white cardstock, which has the whiskey decanter stamped in black ink. And then we've got our inside. Woo, cheers to you. I know this is backwards, you guys, and I'm sorry, but I can't mess with this because Facebook hates me. Orange twist. Yes, Debbie. Thank you. That is what... This is an orange twist, yes. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna remember that. I won't. <laughs> Let's be real. <laughs> I'll try really hard though, I promise. So, two great cards with the whiskey business. Oh, and you know what? I had another card here too someplace. Oh, remember this? I made this quite a while ago. Yeah, that's the, that's the um, whiskey decanter too with the little strippy technique on there. Do I have anything on the inside? Hang on, oh yeah. Being a dad is whiskey business. So we've got birthday and um, Father's Day in this whiskey business stamp set. It's a great masculine stamp set. I really like it. Thank you, Debbie, says the blog hop was cool. Hi, Gilmore. You like my tiny hand, don't you? I've heard from my friends that um, my friend Barb, 
actually decorated her nails on her tiny hands and she put a ring on it. I'm so boring, right? <laughs> but I do have a unicorn. So, okay, prizes. Oh, um, don't forget, don't let me forget, when I turn the camera around, hang on a second. When I turn the camera around, I am going to show you what's going on over there. We, like I said, we've been working like dogs and I started cutting for the retreat and all the cardstock packs because, oh, I wish I had a calculator. Who can do math? Math is hard. Um, we've got, with the early bird special sign up, there are 18 different cards with make and take packets. So what's 18 times 108? That's how many cards I have to cut. <laughs> That's insanity, right? I can do it. I can do it. Okay, make sure you're sharing this video. You can share this video right now. There's a little um, link to click to share my video, and that really helps me grow my business and keep these free um, stamping classes coming to you. So I really, really appreciate it. There are three ways to win fabulous prizes, and the first way is to comment. So if you're new to me, Make sure you leave at least one comment so you can get into the drawing to win fabulous prizes because Debbie Bach is going to win these magnificent heart resin or resin hearts. Let's get it right. Resin hearts. These are so, so fun. I'm going to be using these. Was that the bingo card that I just put them in? Oh, I'm going to use them tonight. <laughs> I just made the card today, I can't even remember. But anyways, um, cool things you can do with these. So, Debbie Bach, you are the winner of the fabulous Resin Hearts, and these will be on their way to you tomorrow. Next up, as I was digging through my door prize pack, I have a box with door prizes in it, I ran across this paper is cut to four by six, and I'm like, oh, I can give this away with what? This punch, I had this little flower punch. I tried to give this away one other time, but the person never got back to me with their address and it's been like at least two months. So, it, you know, you snooze, you lose. <laughs> but after two months, so that's a lot of sleep. Anyways, so I'm gonna give away for sharing my video last week, the paper and the punch. And this is going to Juanita Goulet, G-O-U-L-E-T, from Fergus Falls, Minnesota. And Juanita, I do not have your address, so you're gonna need to give me your address. And what you can do is you can pop me a message on Facebook, or you can email me at kelly, K-E-L-L-Y, at astampabove.com with your address. And I'm gonna put that right over here so I do not lose it. Next up for placing an order with me in the last week. I also pull all those names and do a drawing and I have Pam Speck. We've got Welcome Easter coming to you. This was an adorable Easter set in our mini catalog last year and when I cleaned out my office downstairs and moved up here, I found some stuff and this is one of the things I found. And so, fabulous, fabulous little stamp set coming your way and Pam is in Georgetown, Indiana. Yay, Pam! Okay, now I'm gonna set these over. What did I do with those? I gotta put these over here so I don't lose them. Hang with me. Okay, lots of running around tonight. Um, oh, I gotta put Val back up here too because she's so stinking cute and I just wanna see her all the time. All right, whew, I think, I think you guys are ready to stamp. I have a pretty cool, well, I have a couple cards to share with you tonight, but one of them is like, huh, this is really neat. I think you guys are going to like it. So, I think I'm going to do that one first. You're going to like all of them. But I think I'm going to do this one first because this one takes just a little bit longer. But it's got some really cool, a really cool technique in it. We are going to be using the Butterfly Bouquet collection. And I want to tell you, in case you don't know, the Butterfly Bijou, I like saying that, Butterfly Bijou is sold out. So Stampin' Up! said it was while supplies last and they didn't last very long. Sadness, but because that paper is gone, 
I decided to bring out this paper. And this is the Artistry Blooms Designer Series paper. And, and just like the Butterfly Bijou paper, this paper is bold and bright and very pretty. I was trying to sneak a drink in there because I got kind of a dry spot in my throat. So we're going to be using this with our cards with the Butterfly, what is that stamp set called? I was going to call it Butterfly Brilliance. Is that right? It is. <laughs> and the Brilliant Wings dies. So I have a real cool card to share with you tonight. And I'll show you the card that inspired me to make it. So um, we're also going to be... I got the dies. I got the beautiful stamp set. Oh my gosh, delicious. We're going to be using our Stamparatus. Yay! That always is for cool techniques, right? <laughs> and um, the rectangle postage punch, this one. And then I'm going to use the heart from the dog builder punch. Any little heart will do. I have gorgeous scrape, smoky slate ink, and then I need, ouch, that was my knee. I need this. Speaking of ouch, that was my knee. Memento ink. My husband, all of a sudden, Steve's um, arch in his foot started just killing him. And he's like limping around. Like, oh my gosh, will he? He doesn't, he's like, I don't know what I, I didn't do anything. He said he didn't do anything, but who knows. Anyways, okay, I'm going to get some lights on here. Bring in all the lamps. It almost looks like a professional studio, except my lamps have tape hanging all over them. <laughs> it's not very professional. Okay, we're going to come out of the holder now, and I'm going to flip my phone around. I'm going to show you what's happening over there. The process for doing a retreat or even getting ready for some of these kit classes can be pretty crazy. So this is what's happening over there. I have to do this three times because I don't have enough space to do it just once, but I'm compiling pre-cut cardstock packs. So yeah, and that over there, um, there's my finger. All of that over there is all the cardstock stacked up that I have to cut. So crazy, right? Yeah. Okay, we're ready. Let's get back in here. Hope I don't mess anything up. I don't like the glare that that light makes on my Stamparatus. All right, you guys, I think we're good to go. Nobody's gonna get sick. Here's the address to my blog. This is my current host code. If you guys are gonna be placing orders under $150 with me, and I always appreciate your orders, um, please use this code. You can find this on the right-hand side column of my blog at all times, the current code. And if you're on a phone, it doesn't have a right side column, right? So just scroll down on my blog and you'll see this this little owl, you'll see this whole thing that says current host code and you'll find it in there too. It's at the bottom of every blog post that I have. Okay, I gotta make sure this isn't glaring at you because I literally hate that. Um, we've got our Stamparatus. Let me think what I'm doing here. Where's my cardstock? Here it is. And we've got the Butterfly Brilliance. We've got the dies. Now all of these dies come with this set and it's a lot. So you get all of these and all of these and even one more. Well, one more than this. This one goes on here. This one goes on here. You get all of these and one more little butterfly like this. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six butterflies, okay? This is a really big set of dies. I have a card base that is our Whisper White Thick. And I've already got that scored at four and a quarter. This is eight and a half by five and a half. I've already scored it at four and a quarter. I'm just gonna set that aside. Then I've got a piece of that beautiful Artistry Blooms Designer Series paper. And look at all these coordinating colors. I love all the colors you get to choose from. So I chose this pattern. This is four by five and a quarter. And then I've got a bunch of pieces cut up and some scraps. Let me get these out here. So I've got a basic white scrap, a scrap of this because we're gonna do some um, butterfly die cutting, a scrap of this. We are going to take this butterfly 
and we're going to die cut it on both of these pieces. And some of the pieces are lighter like this, and that's what I've already done. And here's our two butterflies. Aren't those pretty? I just love them. Hang on a second, I'm gonna adjust my screen here a little bit. There we go. I just popped this up on my, I got a giant screen up there. I bought another monitor so I can see my comments better. I can read them. <laughs> Yay me. Okay, so I'm going to put this away. And where did my dies go? I heard them. They're sticking to my Stamparatus. That's great. I need this one. Hang on. I don't want to lose dies. That makes me crazy and gives me hives. All right, so... What we're going to do, first of all, we are going to ink up our butterfly stamps. Okay, so we're going to ink this up. Oh, look how dirty that was. I'm going to put, this is just a crummy piece of cardstock, okay? This is not a good piece of white cardstock. It's just a real crummy, cheapo piece of cardstock. I'm going to put this in my Stamparatus. Look what I did. Oh my good Lord, you can barely get those apart. <laughs> Have you guys ever done that? I've broken some of mine. Don't let your magnets smack together, they'll break. But then you get more pieces, so it's not really that bad. Okay, I am going to stamp or ink up part of my butterfly stamp. And the only reason I'm doing this part is I don't need the rest of it. I don't care about that. And now we're going to put that on our crummy white cardstock. Then I'm going to bring in my die and I'm going to die cut butterflies. I want to make sure that I get these really in place where they belong. Okay, hang on. I'm going to die cut. You're going to hear lots of crunching. Don't let this die scare you. It's noisy. Here, let me bring it back over here. Ready? I don't know if I can do this on my desk with all this stuff. It's kind of tricky. Oh, it's not even snapping. Well, for Pete's sakes. Usually, oh, there's a little bit. Usually snaps a lot. Okay. Here we go. Now, what I've done here is I've made a template. All of these butterflies, I'm just tossing. I don't need them at all. Let me make sure I'm in the right spot here. Yep. Okay, so now I'm going to take this paper and put it back in here exactly where I had it before. So you have to pay attention. I had it right up against that line. I'm going to put my magnet up there. My other magnet, somewhere. How about right there? We'll see. You have to make sure that it doesn't interfere with your stamp, okay? And that will work right there. Okay, now. We are going to, I'm using this as a template is what I'm doing. We are going to take these pieces, and I've just cut these like two and a half by three, and we're gonna take all of these pieces, and you can do, let's do three at a time. I'm pretty sure you can do three at a time. We're gonna do three at a time, and we're going to run these through. Oh, I almost dropped it. We're gonna run these through our machine. I've got three pieces of designer series paper on there because I need six butterflies. Sorry for the jiggle. When Fred makes my new desk, I'm hoping that I won't have my camera on the table. It'll be like connected to the wall so it won't jiggle when I do stuff like this or when I'm inking my stamp. You know, I always pound on it and then it, it, um, Hang on, I'm having a little difficulty. It always jiggles the table and then it makes my camera wiggle. Okay, so here's our three. Three butterflies, aren't they pretty? They're just pretty. And then, let me get this out of here. We are going to do the other three. Um, let's get this back over here where you can see it. Do this again. Make sure these are stacked up nice. There we go. And now we're going to do three more butterflies. So two passes through the machine. 
<laughs> Hang on. Kind of jittery tonight, aren't I? That's really... I haven't... Well, I guess I have had some caffeine today. But I feel like I'm a little, little jittery. There we go. Okay, I just got to get that tucked in there so it doesn't move. Oh, now you hear it cracking. I am not a liar. All right, we're done. Yay us. Now, instead of rolling that through six times, I only had to roll it through twice because we cut out three at a time. Did you know you can cut out that many at one time? I know, Charlene's going, wait, three at a time? Yep. But remember, Charlene, it's designer paper, which is thinner than cardstock. Cardstock, you can do at least two at a time very well. But um, more than that, I'm not really sure. Give it a try on some cardstock that's not your good stuff, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Okay, here comes our template. Now, this is what I love to do with my Stamparatus. And of course, making a lot of swaps as a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, right? You, um, you have to do a lot of repetition. Let's see if this will fit back in here. It does kind of. Okay, so this was our crummy white, our crummy white butterfly. And I'm just going to make sure that I have this in place for the most part where it belongs. But um, being a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I have to make a lot of swap cards. And so you're making a lot of the same card. But not being a demonstrator, I have I'm on, I need six butterflies, and I do not want to stamp six and then hold this in place on each one of them while I run it through the embossing machine or the cutting machine, right? Because that's like a big hassle. And that turned out pretty good. So why I made this is so we can drop in our butterflies. This is our template, so they go right back in like a puzzle and you can stamp them easily, quickly. Don't have to worry about the die moving around. This is great for multiples. Here we go. There's my second one. Yeah, isn't this cool? I love doing this this way. Number three. Oops, this one didn't stamp very good. Can you see that? I don't like that one. I don't know why that happened. Oops, I gotta keep it in place. Let's try that again. Okay, that looks much better. And of course, because you've, you're using the Stamparatus, you can keep it in place. Now, if you were to use a permanent ink like Stazon, you would want to cover up your plate here because stays on doesn't come off, right? And you would want to cover your plate up under here with something, but this is going to wipe right off, so I don't worry about it. The other thing that I found out today is that you can write, like I needed to make a mark on here to know where I was going to put my paperback. You can mark on here with dry erase markers, right? And they're going to come right off. So if you need to make any marks on your platform, Use a dry erase marker, not a Sharpie, but a dry erase marker will work and it'll come right off. And we'll clean this up in just a second. There we go, and one more. Here's our number six. Make sure this is in here right. Now, again, you can't let this template, this white piece where you're putting your puzzle piece back in, you can't let that move and expect this to stamp in the right place. So just be aware of that. Here comes, I'm going to get rid of this. Um, wipes. There we go. I'm just going to clean this up. And do you see that dry erase? Oh, I covered it up with a magnet. Comes right off, so that's cool. And now I'm going to clean this off. You could use your chamois to do this too. I've got one right here, but I, as long as I've got a baby wipe. Okay. And now I'm going to close this up. We are going to take this piece and figure out where we need it to be on our glass to stamp all these butterflies. 
Let me get this out of the way so you guys can see. And I'm going to pull this down just a little bit more. That looks really good. Okay, now there's not really a way to put the magnets on here because my stamp is going to hit them no matter where I go. So I'm just going to have to be careful. And I'm going to ink my butterflies up. Make sure you get them inked up. Oh, wrong color. Hang on. Sorry. Don't ink them up with black. Well, you could if you want. But I have a better, I have a different plan. Not better, just different. Okay. This is where my smoky slate comes in because I want these to be a little bit lighter. I don't want them to be real bold and, and, and black. So I'm going to use smoky slate. And we are going to stamp our butterflies right on our designer series paper. And I love it when we have um, a layer of paper that isn't got a lot of busyness on it. And isn't that cool? It's just very mellow, very mellow with the smoky slate. Okay, let me move this out of the way because we're done with that. What are you guys drinking tonight? Oh, and Angela says in Australia they call, call the dry erase a whiteboard marker. Yeah, we call them whiteboards here too, but I don't know. I think dry erase board is a little more popular, said more often. I don't know. Okay, so first thing, where did our card go? Right here. We are going to take our scrap and I'm going to close up that color. I'm going to bring in my gorgeous grape. Now, gorgeous grape is a coordinating color in this paper. And it comes into play way down here at the bottom. So I just thought it would be a good choice for um, my card layer. Sentiment layer, that's a better way to say it. So I use that purple. Now I'm gonna bring, whoops. Now I'm gonna bring in my rectangular postage punch. And I think I, yeah, I need to cut a little bit off the end of here because I stamped it too far over. And I'm going to put this up just a little bit. I don't want it right in the center. I put it up just a little bit because I've got that heart on that dog builder punch. And I am going to punch out a little heart here. Let's see which color. I think I want that one. And where's my glue? Right here. I'm just going to put a little heart on this layer. And I just thought that would be kind of sweet. And this sentiment, by the way, let me tell you about that. It is from the Wonderful Is You stamp set. It says, just know that I am here for you. And I just thought, this is this is a nice card to, to um, put that sentiment on. All right, we're going to glue this on. What else did I pull out here? I gotta make sure that I'm doing all the things I need to do. I haven't actually made this version of the card yet, but I have another one to show you because you guys know I love to show you a variety. So I don't wanna make, design a card and then make the same one for you. I like it to be just a little bit different. Um, let's think about this for a minute. I am thinking that a little bit of ribbon would look nice. So, let's see what this looks like. I think I'm going to take this. This is our white. Look how dirty I am already. This is our white ribbon. And then, this is our crinkled seam binding white ribbon. Oh, I'm going to waste so much. Don't waste that much, but you guys will do better, right? And I'm going to grab, whoops my mini glue dots. There's lots of little things I'm going to need here I'm going to get out right now. Um, mini glue, mini glue dots. I'm going to grab my mini glue dot and I'm going to put a little mini glue dot right under my knot and I'm going to put this right here. Okay. Yep, that's exactly what I want to be happening here. Then, dimensionals. Let's find... Oh, good Lord, I have lots and lots of edges here, but no full ones. Isn't that interesting? 
Have you guys ever been snipping along like that and snipped yourself with them razor sharp little scissors? <laughs> like who's done it? I have! Oh, who said that? Gilmore, totally love this card, it's not even done. I know, right? This is pretty all by itself, but wait until you see what I do to the inside. Like you are going to pee your pants. <laughs> Well, maybe not that much, but it's going to be close. Okay, so here's our little... I want to make sure this lays nice under here. I'm going to do this. So I'm going to pull this right up there. So it's just button up against my little bow. Okay, and then I got... Here's my good scissors. I'm going to just kind of cut that. Cut this. Okay. That's kind of cute, right? Now, since we're using the Artistry Blooms, I thought I might as well bring in some of the Artistry Blooms sequins, right? I think these are them. Are they? Oh, maybe they're not. Hang on, I gotta make sure I'm using the right thing here because I already have my blog post put together. I don't wanna be telling you the wrong information. I'm really quite ahead of the game today. Usually I don't do my blog post till I'm done talking to you guys. You know what, I'm thinking these are actually even retired. Why do I still have them in my drawer? Artistry Bloom Sequins. I don't think these are them. These are, no, I think those are gone. Okay, hang tight, get a drink, I'll be right back. I have to find the sequins. Here's my goodies. So I got this at like the container store or something. I don't really like it, so I don't recommend storing your stuff like this because it's just kind of a big old jumbled mess. And I don't like that at all. But I still use it because I just don't have time to make it better. I don't even have any of those. Okay, so there's Artistry Blooms sequins. Use them. <laughs> oh, I do too. I do! Yay! These are out of here. Maybe I'll put these in with somebody's door prize because I shouldn't even have those in my drawer anymore. Sorry about that, you guys. You know what I did earlier today? I was making these cards and I had to change two of them because I used a retired stamp. I used a stamp from the celebration. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, Kelly! Get your head out of your butt. Oh, did I just say that? I did. <laughs> I think sometimes when my mind gets a little overloaded, I kind of lose my way a little bit. <laughs> I know, I'm not alone. Okay, so we've got these beautiful, beautiful sequins, and I'm just gonna put, like, I usually do three, right? And that just gives us a little bit of bling on our really pretty card. Okay, so enough with that. Let's get these out of the way. Oh, I've got these butterflies too. What the heck am I gonna do with them? Oh, I've got plans. Um, let's see if I can find, here's my white. Oh, you know what? I put a mini dimensional behind one of these and it was too big. So I'm gonna cut some little slivers off the edge here. Because a mini dimensional, I could see it sticking out the front and oh my, we don't like that, right? Well, that didn't even stick. Ugh. I'm gonna have a hot flash here shortly. <laughs> the sequins are gonna send me right over the edge. Um, are you talking about this? This is a take your pick tool. Is that what you're asking about, Sharon? This is the most amazing tool ever. If you go to my online store and type in the little magnifying glass and do a search for take your pick, that's what this is. I use it for everything. I use it for mini glue dots, I use it to take the back off of my dimensionals, I use it for placement of little elements, little embellishments, I use it for everything. It's just the best. And it has putty in the end, and yeah, I love it. It's It stays right by me when I'm stamping. And I'll have a hot flush if I can't find it. <laughs> okay, I think I wanted to do just something like this. I don't know. Because the bow was kind of an afterthought. I wasn't, I didn't have that planned. And then maybe, well, let's get this out of here first of all, because that's not going to work. Meh. Go, little sequin. Be free. Okay. <laughs> I am 
not been drinking. <laughs> I promise. Okay, here we go. Let's be serious now. Oh, who am I kidding? That's not even fun. <laughs> there, we got one more sequin there. Okay, so that's the front of our card, right? Oh, I don't know if I like this here. Hang on. Just bent his little antennae. Probably needs that to fly, right? <gasps> okay, let's move this one. Things are just not right here. I just tore my layer, but it'll be okay. Nobody will see it. That's better, isn't it? Do you guys like that better? I do. Okay, here we go. Now for the inside. This is the you're gonna pee your pants part. Let me get my little mess cleaned up here first. Oh, I gotta take my sweater off because I really am getting hot. <laughs> oh my God. Whew. There we go. Yeah, who said that, Bonnie? Oh, please don't be serious. That's not fun. It is not fun. Okay, here we go. Now, we're going to bring in our paper trimmer. And we're going to score the middle of each one of these butterflies. And we're going to do that. Make sure you keep it in the middle. Don't cut it. Get your cutting blade out of there. And let's see if I can just do it. Oh, yeah, you can just slide it right in there because you can see in the channel when you're in the middle of the body. And that is pretty sweet. Don't push too hard on this either because this is designer paper. When you use cardstock in this trimmer, you can push as hard as you want. You're never going to hurt it. But designer paper is not as thick. It's a little more delicate. And you have to be kind of careful with it. So today we went to lunch at this place called Cheddar's. Have you guys ever been? I'm pretty sure it's just a chain. I have never been. And for those of you that are local, it's over by um, Red Lobster by the mall in Appleton. And oh my gosh, the food was delightful. I had a half, well, I got barbecued ribs, but I didn't eat a half a rack. I only ate a few of them. And coconut shrimp. And they were so, so good. Here's my mini glue dots. But yeah, cheddars. It was just delicious. Okay, so we're going to fold all our little butterflies in half like this. <laughs> this is so fun. I'm so excited to be able to share this with you. And the idea, my inspiration came from a swap card that I've been hanging on to from one of my team members I've had for, I think, quite a while. Like a long time. Okay, so on the first butterfly, you're going to put... A mini glue dot on the tip of the wing on the back of the right side okay so we're gonna do that um, then we're gonna do a mini glue dot on this wing and we're gonna fold our butterflies in half like this and we're going to match them up and stick them together so we have that okay and we're just gonna keep doing that with all the little butterflies Oh, that reminds me of an HBO show that I used to watch. What was it? It was, uh, did you guys watch Big Love? It's kind of weird, but yeah, that was pretty good. I saw somebody on Facebook talking last week about a show that is on a series that's on um, Netflix called I Care A Lot. Have you guys watched that yet? <gasps> it is creepy, but it's really good. And I didn't get this lined up right. Nah, there we go. And we just keep doing that. Six butterflies, you guys. Six butterflies. Keep folding them in half like this. Keep just lining them up like that. Now, I am going to take some um, tear and tape. And I'm going to put my tear and tape on each side here next to the fold. Okay? Next to the fold. And then on this side next to the fold. But anyways, I care a lot on Netflix. Holy cow. Pretty, like I said, pretty creepy. It's about a nursing home and this crooked lady. And I'm not giving anything away because right from, from the beginning, you know exactly what's going on. But it is like, it could really happen and it's pretty creepy. Okay, here we go. We're going to peel off one side. Okay, so... We're going to take our butterfly. First of all, I'm going to pull these apart and see how wide can I go with them. I think I can go that wide. Okay, so you're going to 
put your butterfly right down here and I did not push that down. Okay, that looks good. Now I'm gonna push it down to make sure it stays there. Then we're gonna take this one off. Don't try to peel this over here and stick it down, but instead just close your card. And ready? Are you ready for the magic? What? Is that not incredible? You saw how easy that was, wasn't it? Oh my gosh, so easy. Yay! Now, you could stamp a sentiment in here if you wanted. You could put this up higher so you had, but I figure I would write in my card here, and this is a, just know that I'm here for you, and then wham, you could put, let's do lunch. I love to go out to lunch. Let's do lunch. Hugs Kelly. Oh, do you guys love this? I know, Holly, Julie, awesome, Debbie, wow. I know, you guys, isn't that the coolest thing ever? So, do you want to see the other card that I made? I think you do. Let me grab it. Here we go. This is the same card. Um, I used a couple banners here. This one is three quarters of an inch wide. This is um, one inch wide. I used the um, heart, scallop, and regular, the punch duo. This little butterfly down here is the designer paper. I did exactly the same stuff except the heart and the banners, okay? Oh, and before I show you that glorious inside, we are going to, let's see. I don't know which color I wanna add here. We're gonna add some amazing, I think we'll stick with this one. We're gonna add some of these artistry blooms. Now, artistry blooms, before I forget you guys, there's a whole um, suite with this particular paper. And I have online classes. Oh, I already put some on here. Those are wrong. Well, oh well, I'm gonna leave them. But um, these were the other ones. I have a whole online a kit class or an online class using the Artistry Blooms. And um, I did it a while ago, but I have a bunch of them left. So if you would like a class, it has a whole stamp set in it. Let me show it to you. Artistry Blooms, Artistry Blooms. Well, that's not what it's called, so that's great. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was called Artistry Blooms. I think the whole suite is, but not the stamp set, which is what I was trying to find here. Let's find it. We've got time. Um, Artistry Blooms right here, page 130 and 132. So I have this beautiful, beautiful class using this suite of products. It's so pretty, right? Look at how pretty it is. So the stamp set is called Hand Drawn Blooms. And um, this was a class me, Dina, and Barb did. And that we have some really unique ideas for the stamp set and the dies. But you get this beautiful stamp set. Um, the die is this great big flower die that cuts this out. It's just so, so pretty, right? So pretty. Look at these cards they made with it. Nah, it's so gorgeous. Anyways, I have a bunch of those left. If anybody's interested, you can go on my blog or you can contact me, I'll give you the link, but they're really cool. All right, so back to this card, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, there's the front, here's my inside. And I put these up a little bit higher Oops, what is that doing in there, hitchhiker? And I use the orange in the pink where I use the purple in the pinks here. So this one still wants a ride. This one is just a little bit different. Isn't that easy? I was so excited to share that with you. Ah. Okay, there's our first card. Oh, and then the inspiration that brought me to make this, I got this from Cindy Lou, she's on my team. And this isn't, this isn't, I've been holding this card for a long time. And then look at her butterflies. Oh, hang on. There we go. Isn't that cool with that black card base? It's like really striking. Yeah. Very, very cool. So that's where the idea came from. Okay. Moving along. I have some, a lot of other really cool stuff to share with you. Hang on, I gotta clean this stamp because 
purple will get everywhere. All right. Um, Wonderful is You. That's the stamp set that I used with the Butterfly Brilliance. And this is called Rectangular Postage Punch. And you guys, all of this stuff is on my blog with dimensions and I put all the items that I use to make the cards in there too. And I have that already done because when I get off of here tonight, I just have to take a couple more pictures and upload the video. I'll have it on my blog, ready to roll. But I have to get, I have to get making bingo cards. So, okay. Still putting away things. Hang tight. Have a drink. If you need a bathroom break, I'm not going to be gone that long, but I'll understand. <laughs> okay, I'm going to set those over there. I'll bring them back out so you can see them again. All right, up next. Oh, my good Lord, my crown just fell in my eyes. <laughs> That's stamping problems. Okay. We are going to be using the In Color 6x6 assortment, and you get all of these colors in a 6x6 pack. They are spectacular. And we're going to be using the Hey Chick, or Hey Birthday Chick stamp set. Now, I pulled a couple other stamp sets in here just so I could get some words out of them. And, you know, whatever you need your card to be, you can use whatever words you want, but this is what I did. And then I'll show you where I got my inspiration for this one, too. We're going to do a little bit of blending. This one's a really, really fun card. This one's going to make you giggle. And if you follow me on Instagram, you might have already seen it. <laughs> okay. So, we're going to bring in Hey Birthday Chick. Now, Hey Birthday Chick comes, you can get it. It's available with the birthday chick dies. Are these? No, these aren't there. Oh, do I have these messed up? Hang on, let me look. The birthday chick dies. Yeah, I think I do have them messed up. These are the birthday chick dies. And I've got the chick dies in here, so that's not right. This, we're going to fix that right now because I do not want to be giving out bad information. You guys will be like, that Kelly, she does never know what she's talking about. I don't want to be known for that. I do make some mistakes once in a while. Well, more maybe more than that, but not intentionally. Okay, so birthday chick dies, okay? And we also have the chick dies. Now, there's two stamp sets. There's a hey birthday chick, and there's a hey chick. Hey chick was a 2017 celebration choice, and now they've come out with the hey chick dies that you can get to go with it. And this is a brand new offering this year. Hey, birthday chick and the birthday chick dies. So we're going to be using this. Then let's see, what else did I bring in? I needed a little hello. So I looked through my drawer and I found snailed it with a little hello. So that's where the hello is coming from, the snailed it set. We're going to be using this for bingo on Wednesday night. So fun stuff coming there. And then I wanted to, I decided I wanted to make this an Easter card, so I pulled out my wish for everything. This is a great word set, and it also has a set of dies that coordinates with it, you guys, with all the holidays, like all the holidays. There's, I think everything's in here. So that's where my happy Easter is coming from. I just wanted you to be aware of that. Okay, let's make a card. Shall we? I think we shall. Hang on, let me get this out of here. All right, so I chose to use Misty Moonlight for this one. And I chose it because Misty Moonlight is one of the in colors. Good Lord. <laughs> one of the in colors in here, and I wanted to use this wood grain paper for my chicken card. So we've got eight and a half by five and a half. Judy, Judy, you're so sweet. Judy says, as busy as you are, I am amazed how little you mess up. You're so sweet. Thank you so much. And Cheryl needs, no, who just said that? Janet says she needs the wish for everything set. It really is a nice set. Okay, next what we're going to do is we are going to take a smoky slate layer. Now this is three and three quarters by five. 
I've got my Misty Moonlight. And this heart, the heart and the hello, are coming from the Snailed It stamp set, okay? So I am just going to stamp. i got to stand up so I can get this in here, right? Hope my crown doesn't fall on my face. We're going to stamp some Misty Moonlight hearts right down the left side of this layer. Okay, just like that. Then we are going to take that layer. Oh, hang on, I've lost. Here we go. We're going to take that layer and we're going to run it through the um, subtle embossing folder, S-T-U-B-T-L-E, and there might be an S on the end, I'm not sure, but subtle embossing folder, okay? So we're gonna run this through our machine, and when we do that, this is what we're gonna have. So we've got that nice, subtle texture on the background. Okay, other layers. Basic white, four by five and a quarter. Then I die cut the largest and the second to the largest square stitch shape from the stitch shape framelit dies. Okay, so we've got both of these. Oh, here's my here's my squares, okay. And let me put that away so I don't lose them. Then I've got one inch strips of the In Color Designer Series paper. Here's what we're gonna do. We are going to take our one inch strips. Oh, hang on, here they, here they are. Now, I already cut these to five, and this one is cut to three and three quarters, okay? But you could just use one inch strips and trim them off, right? I mean, that would be the easiest way to do it. All right, so we're gonna put our glue on here. We're gonna line this up right next to our hearts, and I just think this is so cool. My friend Susie Wood, it, she designed a card for celebration using this layout, and I, it was one that, again, that I set aside because I just loved it. So I'll show you her card, too. It's really super cute. And here comes our little panel. And I like that this has a wood grain on it because I think it's just kind of charming, and especially with the chickens, right? Okay, we have a little bit of stamping to do. So what we're gonna do here is we are going to use our Memento ink and we're going to stamp this fat, sassy little chicken. She is hysterical. I love her to death. <laughs> and let's see what else. As long as we've got our ink and stuff out here, let's do this. Um, we're gonna do the hello. We're gonna stamp that, just like that. I use Misty Moonlight on the hello. And then I'm going to take, I put my Happy and Easter from the um, A Wish for Everything stamp set. Oh, here it is, this one. So I took the Happy and the Easter and put them together. And I'm going to stamp that in the Missy Moonlight. I'll, I'll put that right here for the inside of my card. And then we're going to do, I'm gonna do a little bit this is from the um, birthday chick, ha or hey chick, have a happy day. And then this little guy in the black again. So we've got this crazy little egg thing for the inside of our card, right? I just thought it was kind of funny. Okay, I think we're done with our ink. So let's get those closed up and then I'll get my fingers wiped off so I don't wreck my card. Because, oh my gosh, that makes me so mad. Don't you get mad when you like, Get a splotch of ink on your card. Okay. Ooh, time to take a drink. What did you guys have for supper tonight? I had nothing. I haven't eaten yet. I was still full from lunch. And I didn't overeat at lunch because I didn't want to feel like a blob when I came home. I knew I had lots of work to do. I had to design this class for you guys tonight. And I need to be on my best when I'm doing that, right? Okay, so I just used the Dark Mango Melody for the little chicken legs. We're going to get this glued in our card right away where it's safe. <laughs> Once it's in there, we can't get drop an ink pad on it or something, right? There we go. Okay, so there's the inside of our cute little Easter card. Now, this chicken. 
I am going to take, these are both um, Smoky Slate, and then I have Red Light, no, Dark Red, and Dark Mango, and then I've also got a Color Lifter here. So I'm going to take my Dark um, Smoky Slate, and I just like to kind of go around the edges of my, whatever my image is. You guys have seen me do this before. I like to put the darker color around the outside edge to give it that shadowy, artisty look. Not artistry, artisty. That's a word. I may have just made it up, but it works, right? <laughs> I like to make up words. Okay, so there's our chicken. I'm just going to give a little bit more dark. Just like that. Looks pretty gross, right? Now I'm going to take and, and just scribble on all these little wiggles. This little hen has got some flex on her. She is cute. Cutie patootie. Okay, here comes my mango for that little bee. All we do with that, here comes our dark red. Hot sausage, tomatoes, peppers, onions, and mushrooms, and pasta. Seriously? That sounds delicious. So Steve, we got um, from... One of my helpers, Brooke, and Val's babysitter, we got some um, Italian venison sausage. And I don't usually like venison made into anything else, okay? So um, Steve put it in with peppers, green peppers, red peppers, onions, mushrooms, cooked up, cook, cooked up the sausage, and then put a dozen, cooked a dozen eggs and put that in there for like breakfast burritos. Oh my gosh, it is so delicious. That sausage, Brooke, if you're watching this, tell Dan the sausage is amazing. Steve can't stop raving about it. This is the light smoky slate. It is so, so good. And then Connie, Connie came down from Marquette, and one of their things up there is this meat. It's a spicy sausage called kudahe, kudahe. I don't know, I say it wrong every time. She tells me I'm right, but I don't think I am. Um, kudahe, that's it, kudahe. And she brought us two packs of that. And I can't wait for Steve to make that breakfast thing with that. Because that's a little, got a little more bite to it. And I like stuff that's a little spicy. So, yeah. Anyways, he cooked a lot. He made me shrimp stir fry this week. Oh, my gosh. It was so good. Okay. There's my cutie patootie little chicken. Now, I want to take a little bit of color off of her. So, I'm going to bring in my color lifter. I'm just gonna pull a little bit of that color right off her fat little belly. <laughs> this is a fat little chicken. Isn't that cool? Yeah, don't I look like an artist? Totally. <clears throat> smoked tri tip and smoked baked beans. Oh my goodness. Steak and baked potatoes for Jackie. That sounds good. Oh goodness. Okay, um, next we're gonna take our dies which I can't locate right at the moment. Hang on, here they are. There's a die to cut out this chicken, okay? We're gonna take our dies and we're gonna cut our chicken out. Well, first, before we do that, let's, I grabbed a one inch circle punch. Now you could have some circle dies this will work on. We don't sell a one inch circle punch anymore and quite frankly, I don't understand it because everybody should have one, I guess. That's probably why we don't sell them, or yeah, sell them anymore, because everybody has one. I don't know, but white circle on that. And then I'm gonna grab just a little bit, a little tiny scrap of smoky slate, or a big scrap, <laughs> because I'm in a hurry. Those who forgot cannot be picky. And one of the elements we're gonna do is right here. Oh, I kind of screwed up already, you guys, but it'll be okay. Um, we'll figure it out. We're going to take and we're going to put this circle coming right in here on this. And this is just a really cute little element. You're going to end up with a half a circle on the edge. You could fold it over if you want, but it makes a lot of bulk back there. Oh, look at that sticking out there. That's never going to work. Come on, Kelly, get it together. Okay, there we go. So, a little half a circle right here, kind of cute, right? We're going to take this and we're going to die cut it. And hang on a second because I got some all kinds of pieces all over here. There it is. Stuck in the bag. So, once you die cut your chicken, it's going to look like this, right? 
through the Magic TV and all that, I was supposed to put this under here. Let's see, how, how much glue did I put under there? Oh, quite a bit. I'm going to trim some of this off, but glue this under there before you glue this, this piece down, because that's what I kind of forgot to do. I'm just going to tuck this up in here. Yep, that's how it looks. Put a little glue under it. There we go. Okay, so cute little elements, right? It's just all those cute little elements. Now, here's our little chicken, our chubby little chicken. We are going to put some dimensionals on the back of this layer. If I can find them, here they are. Doo -doo -doo. And I'm gonna stick these this thing on the front of our card. Who's asking about that take your pick tool? Isn't this amazing? Love it. Okay, now we're gonna bring this in and we're gonna put it right here. Okay. Now, before we put this piece on here, this is the chicken's gonna go on top of this, so I'm gonna add a little bit of ground and I just come in here and do that. That's it. Easy peasy, doesn't really look like much of nothing. Um, we're gonna glue this to our square layer. And these, doesn't the stitching just really do it for you? Like I love that stitching. I just think it's so cool looking. Um, this is from, like I said, the Stitch Shaped Eyes. You gotta get these. If you don't have some of these, you gotta have them. I just, I'm not even gonna, you, there's no choice. And then we're going to bring in the wobblers. Who doesn't love a wobbler? Oh my gosh. So these are called wobblers. W-O-B-B-L-E-R-S. Wobblers. And what you do with them is you peel the backing off. There's a, there's, they're already stickied, which is very cool, right? You can get these on Amazon. Just do a search for wobbler. Now, I know people are going to ask me for a link for them, but again, just go on Amazon and do a search for Wobbler. And we're going to put the Wobbler right on there. And then we're going to take the other backing off. Maybe. Here we go. Okay. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, before I did, well, I'll, I'll ask you what you think. But Oh, I need a, this to be a little bit... A little bit lower. I need my ground. I need a little bit more ground down here. Here we go. Are you ready? Are you ready for this little chicken chick? Okay, who's ready to see? Oh, no, nope. I'm not going to do it till we get the whole card put together. So just hang on. I know. Anticipation. I'm like, oh my god, Kelly, please stop singing. I promise I won't do it again. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh, look at how cute she is. Is she not the cutest thing? Oh, I think this is crooked. Hang on. I can't have that. It'll, it'll just throw your whole card off, won't it? There we go. I'm just going to move that over just a little bit. Not that much. There we go. Okay, now it looks straight. Okay, one more thing before we do the final last thing. Where's Here's my little... We're going to use the resin hearts and... One thing you can do with them is you can color them with the blends. So I need a blue heart. A white heart would have been fine, except I'm going to put it on this little hello layer here, and you won't even see it, right? So I'm going to color it Misty Moonlight. That's my Misty Moonlight blend. Is that straight? Yep, looks pretty good. Here we go. Ready? Who does not want... A fat little chicken card like that for Easter. <laughs> I love this so much. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, Denise says she used it with the zany zebra for a baby card. Absolutely. Now, you get a whole bag. I, like a lot. I think you get 12 of these or something. You can get big bags and regular sized bags. But you get like 12 of these in a bag. And they're, they're called wobblers. And they have a little plastic spring in there. You can see that. And they've got adhesive on both sides. And they make people happy. That's what they do. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> okay.
Okay, so I've got another chicken here. So I, I did a crumb cake chicken too, and I think that would look really nice. But I thought I'd better use gray with the blues and the grays. What do you guys think? I think that, yeah, I think that was a good, that was a good choice, right? Okay, so where did I get the inspiration for this car? And I know a lot of you go, how do you come up with your ideas? Well, they come from all different places, but check this cutie patootie out. How many of you have Darling Donkey? Right? This is the cutest card for Dar, and especially this one that sits down because that heart fits in there just perfect. This is the strawberry plaid paper. And then this is the Darling Donkey set. And my friend Susie made this and she used a pearl over here. A little strip of hearts that, that that's in something. I don't know if it's in the Darling Donkeys or where that comes from, but is that not the cutest little thing? So that's where I got my idea for this card. Is from my friend Susie's card. <laughs> Cute, right? Okay, so here we go. We have this little beast and we have this and we have this. Ah, ah, yeah. Ah. <laughs> so cute, right? Oh my gosh, sometimes you guys, sometimes I feel like I knock it out of the park and I think tonight is one of those nights I'm feeling pretty darn good about these cards. <laughs> Oh my gosh, so fun. All right, I have some mail to show you. And oops, oh, I just stabbed myself with these scissors, but not hard enough to bleed. So don't worry, I will be okay. I've got some, oh, here's another. Where'd those wobblers go? I don't want to lose my wobblers, right? But yeah, get yourself some wobblers. You don't even have to have, like, I could have put a wobbler behind this and made that wiggle, too. You don't even need, like, a cutesy tootsie little thing. You could put it behind a circle. You could put it behind just about anything to make it wiggle. And kids, oh, my God, kids play with the wobbly cards forever. All right, here we go. Everything's going to get put away. And I'm going to bring out my mail. Please don't forget to share my video if you haven't done that yet. That helps me, of course, grow my business. And I really appreciate it. It allows me to keep these free videos coming your way. Because if you share, I am growing. Yay. Okay. I'm just going to move those out of the way. Oh, here's my chickens. I'll just put these back in here. So I have some cool mail to share with you, as always. I love getting cards from you guys and sharing them with everybody. Oh, I set them on the floor. Hang on. Oh, you notice? Oh, here we go. Okay, here. Oh, this was a swap card. Oh, using that butterfly brilliance again. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah, beautiful. And let's see. This, this came to me, sending lots of happy. This is from Barb Pash. Barb sent me this card, and Barb, this card is what inspired me to make this look familiar. Yeah, isn't that cool, you guys? Totally different, but the same. That's where I got this idea. So, Barb, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Next up. Pam Taylor. Pam, this is so cool. Look at her card. It opens up and it's got that on the inside and she used the blending brushes with some clouds. She just, you know, cut out some little cloud things and used the blending brushes. So cool. She says, Kelly, I thought I'd share this card with you from a get together I did a few with a few friends using my new stamps and punches. Also playing with blending brush to make cloud print. So much to learn and figure out about this new SU venture. Thanks for making it fun, Pam Taylor. Isn't that cool? Pam joined my team. Very, very, very cool. Love this. Next up, Linda Gilbert. Look at this cutie patootie. Wherever you go, whatever you do, may the luck of the Irish be there with you. That's an Irish blessing and how cute. Look at this. She says, just a little reminder of how special you are to all of us. Try this fun fold. And this really does look very cool, Linda. So I might be trying to figure this bugger out, right? Isn't that cool? Very, very cute. 
Next up, oh, here's another swap card. This is from Katherine Anderson. How beautiful is that? Yeah, very, very pretty butterfly. And Luba, I know, I think Luba's on here. I'm pretty sure Luba's on here tonight. Look at this. It looks almost like an Easter lily, doesn't it? So, so pretty. And she's got those little sequins in there that give it just that little bit of bling. Look at that double bow. Two different kinds. Nice. Kelly, Steve, and whole family, happy Easter. Thanks for all your great videos and ideas. Enjoy the Easter spring season with your beautiful family. Luba, you're the sweetest. Thank you so very much. Okay, you guys, that is it for mail. I am going to say goodnight. Yay! And is that just watch this? Bong, bong, bong. I'm gonna say to, I'm gonna say goodnight. So that I can get your bingo cards made. And even if you didn't register for bingo, please join me um, Wednesday night. I can't remember if it's six or seven o'clock, but it's six or seven o'clock central time on Wednesday night. I will be posting a link right here to our um, my Facebook page for you to watch. You can watch it, hmm, how does that, am I gonna stream to Facebook? Maybe I'll stream live from YouTube to Facebook. I don't know, we'll see. But I can't monitor both you guys, so just know that if I do stream it live from YouTube to Facebook, I will be on the YouTube screen. Cause I gotta do bingo, bingo's important. <laughs> All right you guys, have yourselves a wonderful week. I hope to see you on Wednesday. You like the hands. Deborah likes the hands. Yeah, ready? Bong, bong. And don't forget to be happy. Right? Have a great week. Bye-bye.